Midjourney has now added style references to version 6 and to Niji version 6 of their image generator. So I'm going to show you how it works in a minute, but first I'm just going to type in a simple prompt. The prompt is simply Mickey Mouse. And I'm going to hit enter and I get these images here. That's pretty much how Mickey Mouse comes out, just straight out of the box. But what if I want to add a different style to it? I can try and use my prompt or I can add a style reference, which I've actually experimented with up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mid-journey image I've made of Bruce Lee, although it doesn't really look like Bruce Lee. I'm going to right click on open in browser, copy link address to copy the image address of that image generation. And to use that style, I'm going to go into, I can either go in here and remix, but I'm just going to start again. I've typed in Mickey Mouse. I type in dash dash S R E F space. And then I paste the URL. So the dash dash SREF is for style reference. I hit enter. And you can see how it's adjusted some of the style. The colors, if I scroll up, we've got Mickey Mouse and we've got this, we've got that sort of cream background, lots of sort of vertical paint drips and things like that. And it's kind of put those vertical paint drips into the image and sort of match the color a little bit more closely. But what if we actually want to mix some styles together? Well, one thing I can do is if I decide I've got an image that wasn't generated by AI, I want to use that as URL, I can go in to plus, upload a file. And I have some images here ready for this particular tutorial. I'm going to grab this low poly panda and hit enter. Now, if this doesn't work, you can use postimage.cc. And as long as you upload and use the direct link, you can actually use that here if you're having trouble with uh, Discord. But again, I click on the image, copy the link address. And this time I'm going to come up and I'm going to hit Remix. And just before the little version 6 there, I'm going to space and make sure there's a space between the next image URL and the dash. I paste that URL in also. So now I have two image URLs. And it's going to sort of cross-reference those two styles. I hit submit. So you can see how it's kind of taken some of the low poly elements and added them in there. And it's also still got the vertical line. So it's tried to blend those two styles. Now, if you scroll up and look at the prompt again, you'll see Mickey Mouse dash dash S R E F one URL and then another URL. What I can also do is actually add strengths to these URLs as well. So again, I go into remix to edit my prompt. And with the first image, I'm going to go colon, colon, two to give it a strength of two. And the second image, I'm going to go colon, colon, four to have it lean more towards that low poly look and click submit. And see how it's leaned more towards that low poly style. Again, if I go in, I can flip those strengths and we can go up to five. So if I take the low poly down to two and the original up to four and submit, it'll flip that sort of priority. You can see now how we've got less low poly elements and we're sort of leaning more towards that original style. But there's still some pieces in there such as the shape in the background there and some of the ways it's colored and sort of shaded. But we can also add a third image if we want to as well. If we want to add a little bit more of a painted look, once again, let's say I want to, let's say I want to take this image here and use that as a style as well. And again, you can use any image you have, not just AI art. But I like the idea of sort of going through old AI generations. Copy link address, come down, remix, and I'm going to add a third URL in the end. We can add up to three URLs. I'm going to give it a strength of two, and I'm actually going to take the low poly up to three. So I scroll back up, and this is a little bit complicated to look at, so you'll have to get used to looking at these URLs. I'm going to put the low poly at three, so now I've got the first image with a strength of two, the low poly image, which was second, at a strength of three, and my new image with the Spider-Man and the Kung Fu style border with a strength of two. And I hit submit. And you see it's added more of that low poly information in there, which is pretty cool, and still stuck with some of those colors and adapted even further between those three styles. So let's just recap for a moment. In order to take advantage of this, you need to be using version six or the Niji mode, and you need to add dash dash SREF to the end of your prompt with URLs up to three URLs, one to three URLs after your parameter. 
and then you can add a strength behind those images by adding colon colon and a number from one to five. So that is the basics, but there's also another step that we can take. First of all, we can take the same image, go to Remix, where we have version six, we can just type in Niji six and hit submit. Keeping in mind this only works with Niji 6 and no older versions of Niji, and it only works with version 6 and no previous versions of Mid Journey. I hit submit, and then with Niji, we get a very different result again. So this gives us a lot of flexibility. But one thing to keep in mind is that these images are not image props. They are used to stylize the image, which means we can still use image prompts if we want to further dial in what we're after. So I'm going to upload two images. These images are from Steamboat Willie, which is now in the public domain. I'm going to hit open and upload them to Discord. And here they are. I'm going to come up and this time instead of hitting remix, I'm going to copy this prompt. And then type in slash imagine and paste. Now, if I want to add an image prompt, all I have to do is add the URLs into the prompt, but I need to add it at the end of the text, but before this SREF parameter. So I click on this image, copy link address, and I'm going to make, paste it in place and make sure there's a space between it and the parameter. And I can add two images to my image prompt. So I'm gonna add this other image as well. And I find the parameter. This is getting a little complicated to look at. So you're gonna to have to use your focus a bit. And now we've added two images into the image prompt. And I hit enter. And now we get something different again. So if you come back and highlight to show you what we've done, we've got our prompt, then we've got our image prompt, and then our style references at the end. Now this could be a really cool way to blend things together. One thing I like is the idea of being able to take the same prompt, like something like Mickey Mouse, and then I can go to a site like say Unsplash where I have access to some royalty free images and I can copy the image address from this image, go to style reference, so dash dash SREF and pop that in there. So if you find images you like, you can type in some pretty basic stuff. And now you can see how we've been able to replicate a similar look but including Mickey Mouse in the imagery. But there's still one more command we can add to play with that strength a little bit called dash dash SW. And to give you an idea, zero means that the style strength is off, 100 is the default and 1000 is the maximum. So let's say we go back and remix this image. If I give it a dash dash style weight of zero and hit, notice how that style completely disappears. We've gone from this to this, however, I crank that up to 1000 and now you can see that style is cranked up to max. And in many ways, it's actually difficult to see Mickey Mouse in some of these images. So it's a pretty cool feature to play with. And I, before I even made the video, I had a quick play and was able to get some pretty cool results by mixing strengths and some low poly imagery with, with some of these images here, Mickey Mouse with sunglasses. And overall, just some pretty nifty effects. Somehow we got the Joker here, but, um, a lot of fun to play with. So once again, let's recap. We add dash dash SREF to the end of our prompts. We can then add up to three URLs to mix styles. We can then prioritize our styles by adding a colon, colon, and a number between one to five to give each style a strength. We can use version six or Niji, and we can also set the style strength by adding dash dash SW to the end of our prompt. And of course, we can even add an image prompt by adding image URLs before the dash dash SREF parameter. So that is a lot to digest, but it also means you have a lot to play with and you can have a lot of fun trying to come up with something different. Once again, I had a bit of a play. As you can see, we've got the original image and then we've added some style references to see how we can mix these things up. And some of the results are a bit mixed, but other results such as this one, you get a pretty interesting image. So I do recommend finding images, especially royalty free images or images of artwork you've created, blend them together and just see what kind of results you can make happen. I find that some of these ones are actually quite interesting. I don't know how I'd actually prompt for them. So it's very useful. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful. I hope it wasn't too complicated or confusing. 
Uh, if you liked it, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.